take OpenID and work with it really easily, get started with it, and then build on top of that. So my definition of an open platform, which is very simplistic, and maybe a little too simplistic, is one, it provides or consumes useful APIs. So it, an open platform, a service which is an open platform, acknowledges that it's not the only thing that exists on the internet. The internet is made up of millions of different things. And an open platform understands that. It interacts with those things. It doesn't think that it's the only thing there. And it uses standards where they exist. So something like the Facebook platform, which allows you to go and run applications within Facebook, there wasn't a standard for that at the time that they created it a year ago. So they had to go and create one. And then you now see Google with Open Social trying to create a standard on top of that. Um, and so sort of being able to go and start working with these technologies, start providing and creating um, innovative and interesting things, even if uh, standards don't exist at the time. So sort of some of the people which are doing really great things here. You have Google Maps, 